So, hey guys, Chaosu here. Time for some shooter speed runs using the 6++ Uta and Makuru and Ben Beckman. As I said in a video a few weeks ago, I limit ex expanded both. Just to have fun with them, I think they're a great speedrun combo worth expanding in general. But after that, I just was I was doing other stuff. I kind of forgot about it, so I was like, okay, time to finish this. Uh, one of the teams I made a long ago, a long time ago, but this one I made yesterday. So I'm pretty fresh with this in the mind. Arena Caesar is definitely one of the most annoying arenas to face. And this has so much to handle, but I think of any recent team I made, and definitely any non radio team, this has to be one of the best. This is super clean. Uh, shooters just have so many options now. I'll probably make some widths in the future discussing just how good shooters are compared to other classes, but take a unit like a Pwn Crew here, like thanks to the, them, we can just ignore all of the poison orb BS that this content throws at you. And we can just keep our nice little matching orbs for the entire run. Ace here to remove the bind and Boa to remove the attack down. Like using two different units to remove bind and attack down and still have a breeze with this content. That was basically unthinkable for me not long ago. Like usually it's okay. We need one unit here because we see, need so much stuff for stage 5, but nope. Uh, Luchi has for some extra damage, and yeah, Uta does 3 turns of attack and orb. So why not sa save it for the final stage, since we have to stall here for 3 turns? It's not really stall, it's the forced stall by the... Uh, I forgot the name of the mechanic, like... Damage meter. Yeah, I'm just blanked out. But yeah, we ignore that pretty well. And A, supp a support there, the white beard, lets us remove all of the despair, and we don't really care about the rest. And we've gone from stage 3 with the same orbs. We do so much damage with this combo that we don't care <laughs> about hitting perfects. And yeah, Frankie here just to remove the death up basically. So yeah, moving on to the next team. Uh, this is against Arena Sasaki. So yeah, this one I made a long time ago. And yeah, I just forgot about it. So we're going to look at it now. But I did a quick look at the team again, just to remember. But yeah, uh, we, you saw we used Pudding here right away, which is a bit weird. But basically, even if... Like Ruben Mechman and Uta are very good speedrun caps. Uh, basically, they aren't perfect. Spe especially if you want to use Uta stage 3, you need some C reduction. Same thing if you want to use uh, uh, Like Ruben Mechman stage 4, you also need some C reduction. So, Pudding handles that, and she will also be ready for final stage. That's basically perfect. Uh, the Bellobetti might look odd, it looked very odd to me, but I know that if I picked her on the team, she was basically irreplaceable. Uh, for this team, I also used the Jerma ship instead of the Kisaro ship, which doesn't really matter, since both are minus 2 CD. This one has a bit higher attack and slightly easier perfects, but I think I just forgot about the shooter ship, to be honest. But yeah, it's fun to do this mono shooter with five different colors. And yeah, we're using Kisna Capone here, and he's very cool here, since he gives three turns of beneficial orbs. So this means we just bypass the whole color orbs are negative for final stage, which is the main reason I want uh, this Capone on the team. Uh, Akainu's purpose on the team was just that, he has the re recruit Fuji support, so when he hits, he removes one turn of damage reduction. Add to that, Lakuru and Bebekma's captain ability of removing defensive effects when hitting perfects. We got rid of all the damage reduction very quickly. And Bellobetti removed the uh, uh, attack down. I think Bellobetti 
did a heal too, maybe? Not really sure, but for some reason we need the Bella Betty on this team. And yeah, damage is a bit tight. We do copy uh, the boost though. So we can use Pudding again next turn to change the block orbs and get the buff we stored. So yeah, not the most impressive of the teams, I think, but yeah, I think it's a strength to be able to know so speedrun a variety of content. But I have to say that this is one of my favorite captain duos to use right now. It's super dope. Even get to see some Uta final tap here. Moving on to the final team, which will be against the hardest arena. And uh, this is also going to be very easy. But we have a lot of sheet units here, like again, Capone Crew, very much as sheet units. We let us just ignore the poison orbs final turn by doing the perfect lock. One other thing when building for Arena Hawkins is that final turn of 10 turns of attack down. But I decided to revisit an idea I had day one. Uh, day one, I did a Legend, King, and Queen team that ignored the attack down and instead got a lot of buffs. And I figured that should be something that. Uta and Lakuru Ben Beckman can do. And yeah, spoilers, it worked. My main issue making this was to be able to get a shame boost stage 4, but still get enough damage stage 5. So I really tried to get a Call of Infinity boost for final stage there when we ignore the attack down, but it wasn't possible. So I ended up fitting Adio on the team since. He removes bind, he gives a shame boost, he's a quick shooter, final stage is strength. So yeah, he just fit the bill. Uh, Caesar support lets us uh, bypass the resilience. And basically Capone crew handles everything this stage except for two turns of bind. Pretty ridiculous. And yeah, we already used Uta as well. So she is at max power for that final turn. Uh, the final unit I've not really talked about, well, I haven't talked about Boa, but she just removed attack down stage 3. Uh, we have the aim not to talk about. She will remove the despair here together with Yasop support on Lokuru and Ben Beckman. And she also has a support that reduces her CD. So that's the reason we used iron. Another nice thing is that we get damage reduction and healing so we can actually survive this turn. So yeah, iron turned out to be really clutch together with the Yasop support. And yes, I talked about in the video the other day, uh, Yasop does have... Or I think, don't think I put it out yet, but yeah. Anyway, that's the team. And yeah, we do some good damage there, but now is the finale. Breaking through the big attack down here, which is not easy, but... Yeah, this is not a normal combination. This is the speedrun combo of 2023. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to more Uta and Lakuru shooter fun in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.